Hey guys, Mr. G's Gaming here, and we'll get back to more of Let's Play Mother 3. Last time we teamed up with Salsa and started and Facade and started exploring the desert. And I told you about this trick where you can go ahead and collect dung and exchange them for experience points. Well, I just came across some golden dung, and now we just suddenly gained 50 experience points. And I just leveled up, um, just from this guy, so we just came somewhat closer. Actually, I think level 8 is good enough, but wow. That is actually amazing. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need to collect more dung, um, for a while. I'm just curious, did I get the sand lizard? if I have to scroll all the way down in order to see this. Yes, because I danced, that's right. Anyways, here's a present down here. Don't forget to grab it and... Huh. It seems like something is swirling down there. I guess we'll check it out later on. I'm gonna go ahead and run around, make sure that I got all the presents. The sand lizards are still gonna chase after me, but that's nothing I'm gonna fret about. Am I fully healed? No, but I'm healed enough. Healed enough to be happy. I think level 8 is actually really good. Anyways, there's a present down here. A luxury banana! Oh, that luxury drama. Hey, you stupid monkey. I ain't bother giving me the name Fault Salsa if you're just gonna call me stupid monkey anyways. If you think you earn that luxury banana, then you better think again. Give me that. And he ate it. By the way, Salsa, you idiot. Good thing about those sand lizards is that they drop a lot of nut bread and... Oh, I still have some dung to give away. Hold on, guys. Funny thing about one sun dung, he actually admits that he keeps dropping his dung in this oasis. That's why he smells dung-like. And yes, they drop tons of nut bread. I think that since we're level 8 and getting close to another level up, we should be good for the rest of this area. Now down here you'll encounter a new enemy that's very difficult to back attack. I say as I back attack it. Anyways, this is the Sara Sara Sahara, and I said that it's difficult to back attack because it runs around frantically like you just saw, but I pretty much just got lucky there to get a back attack on my first try. There we go, turned around, so we already got its front and back sprite. Really cool. Then again, we can also make it dance, and alternatively. Ancient Banana, what does that do? Ancient Bananas are interesting. Cause it's the enemy to slip, fall, and inflict damage. Really cool. Now there's a new enemy you see right there. Got some beef jerky. We got the Great Ant Leon. First of all, these guys are actually pretty tough. Let's go ahead and dance to turn it around. Okay, dancing naturally gives different status effects. Simply we dodge quickly. Let's do another dance to lower its offense. And shoot. But hey, we got a level up, that's nice. I was very surprised. Usually those great Ant Leons are actually easy to back attack. 
Here we go, and let's... See, we backed attack it already. And it has a skull on his back. And now we're crying, so we're gonna miss often, but thankfully Fuzz uh, gone ahead and took care of that for us. And thankfully crying doesn't carry outside of battle either, unlike poison. And shoot, these two enemies gone ahead and joined the fight, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and run away. Got some bug spray, which is gonna be very good for going up here. As you can see, there's a frog. There's also a sign. Frogs in the desert? It's actually not as crazy as you might think. Some species of frogs, such as sand frogs, do exist in arid desert regions like Africa. During season, when with little to no precipitation, these frogs burrow into the ground to protect themselves from harsh dry climates. Thanks for the inf information. So, Dizzy, help me, Ribbit. And we have to fight a Granite Ant Leon. They're basically the same as any other battle. But thankfully, that Bug Spray that we had should take it out in one hit. I also like the background, how it looks like quicksand. Whoa! Has a. Yeah, it actually also drops a flea charm, which is why it's great. All that spinning and dizziness actually started to feel kind of nice after a while. What? Anyways, while we're at it, save your game? No. Goodbye in regards to the next frog we meet. Well then, it's a good thing that we got that flea charm. Because now we got some equipment to increase our defense. That is very good. I don't think that Sosa gets any weapons or any other armor, so make sure you got the flea charm. Now, actually, I think that's all the enemies in the desert. As far as I remember, there's only three enemies, which is the stung beetle, well, actually four. The dung beetles, the sand lizard, the Sara Sara Sahara, and Great Ant Leon. Now, there's only one more enemy, and that's the boss of this area. Let's see the information of Sara Sara Sahara. Flies around the desert with a chin chattering, makes his opponents feel foolish. Dung beetles clean up their messes. In return, they eat dung beetles. Not exactly a fair trade. Ah, oh, jeez. I love tomatoes translations, and I love Shiga's Auto E Toys writing. Anyways. Whoa there, big guy! Did it just stare at me? Really? Yeah, they have a high chance of dropping those nut breads. Got a running bomb! Should be helpful. There's a dung beetle right there, but if we head up here... You'll find more dung beetles. Oh, wait, never mind. That's the way you are supposed to go. Rather, there's another place I'd rather go. Most I can get with a song is a two hit combo, but oh well. If we run over here and avoid those enemies, you'll get free dong. And we can't carry any more stuff. You know, since we don't even need dung anymore, let's go ahead and drop in them. Guess what? That's probably. That's probably the one golden dung that I missed out on. Boom! Mega Man battle from I Want to Be the Bashi. Kaboom! 
Actually, I'm absolutely terrible at I want to be the boss chief, but I've gotten all the way up to the Metroid level and I want to be the guy. Now, let's see, I... Actually, yeah, I def let's see, I defeated Tyson, I defeated Birdo, I defeated Dracula, I defeated Zangief, and... Yeah, I'm pretty much just stuck on Mother Brain. Anyways, let's run back up to where we're supposed to go while avoiding these unnecessary battles against dung beetles and make sure to grab this present up here. Got an Aquarius bracelet and another item for salsa. Increases it up to 20, so now instead of just 15, we with that flea charm we got 20 up to 20 defense. A total of a 10 increase. Very, very nice. Looks like we got a wolf with a cactus form of a cordycep. Listen, monkey, that's a cactus wolf, the meanest thing in the desert. The cactus inside with him out of there, go beat him up. Blues and I'll have extra serving a punishment just for you. Now it does not have a back sprite, and make sure that you are fully healed. This guy is actually pretty tough. Has no back sprite because it's a boss, but hey. Um, I'm actually gonna save the ancient banana for the chapters for the chapter boss. Yeah, because the chapter boss is actually pretty weak to that ancient banana. It's gonna be a while, but hey. Uh, first thing to do, um, I think I can uh, try to make it laugh. Perform a headstand. Basically what it does is that it distracts it, but since it's not amused. Yeah, facade is pretty much gonna do most of the work, so you're basically, as you can see, you only do one damage. So pretty much your best bet is just to guard and heal. What did it say? Oh, by the way, there, that Sarah Sarah Sahira that has a chance of confusing you, and if you're confused or if you ever fall asleep, Facade will actually apply an electric shot that will wake you up, but will do one HP of damage. Do another guard, and Facade attacks. Just keep on guarding, because as you can see. Cactus headbutt, it did not do nearly as much damage because we were guarding. Kissing longly at your banana. Okay, you eat your banana, I'm gonna eat my nut. Bread. Love this music though. Keep on guarding. Keep on guarding. Did I just hide in my shadow? What are you, Poogie from Earthbound? Except very useful, because you do a lot of damage. Poogie, why can't you be more like Facade and do damage? Well, actually, Poogie did do damage eventually. Feels cheers up, thanks to his banana. That could be taken the wrong way. Pretty much the local gen of the low subscriber count. Okay, I'll allow Facade to do the finishing blow. It's funny because the Cactus Wolf actually has a complete back sprite, but it's never used. Now we got to level 10. Awesome. And left behind is Beef Jerky. Now we can go ahead and wander the desert more and try to find new enemies, but there absolutely aren't any new enemies around. Anyways, um, I think we're going to go underground in the next part, so if you like this video, make sure to express it with a like. Go ahead and click the thumbs up below the video. If you want to say anything, be free to leave behind a comment. Anything is accepted, even troll comments. I'm not, I don't even bother deleting those, so or responding either. And 
Um, if you want to see more of Let's Play Mother 3 and occasionally a Pokemon video, make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next time.